Welcome back. We're gonna now discuss a transaction replay attack, or more specifically, generalized transaction replay attacks. The idea of a replay is really to create kind of a copycat uh, of an existing transaction. So replay is a term, technical term from a traditional network security environment. And the idea is to observe a transaction on the network layer, then you do replace certain data, you sign it with your own private key and you broadcast the, the copy. So it's, it's really just a, um, yeah, a copycat behavior. So the potential profit that we identified is about 35 million US dollar over 32 months, over a 32 months period. Uh, naturally, what we have ignored here is the possibility that others will um, uh, front run you, or uh, front run your copycat, or or defend uh, against being a front run. Uh, so we have we have gathered about one hundred eighty eight thousand profitable transactions over these thirty two months of historical blockchain data, and this represents about zero point zero two. Um, of the uh, entirety of the Ethereum blockchain transactions that we have seen. Uh, we've developed a real-time algorithm that, um, that which is not very, very much um, uh, optimized and which could even be paralyzed, uh, but we basically can replay a transaction in, in less than 0.2 seconds um, as we report here. So I'm sure you're quite curious now and how does this algorithm look like? Well, um, it's really very simple. So what we have here is we have a potential victim transaction that you can see here, right? This is being uh, um, basically injected into this algorithm. And we have here an ad adversarial address, right? So a victim transaction adversarial address. And the adversarial address is replacing the sender address. At the same time, in the transaction input, we are searching whether the victim sender address is present anywhere in the in the input. And if it is, then we do replace the input with the adversarial transaction. And that's really it. So what we do find um, is that here on the x-axis, we have the, the, the timeline uh, that we evaluated this on the on the Ethereum blockchain and on the y-axis we have the accumulative profit uh, in Ether. So you can see here that the um, that the uh, block top replayable. So for those blocks where we can, if we replay it on on the on the top block, then um, we can we can get probably over fifty thousand Ether uh, within those thirty-two months period. So. Naturally, the amount of US dollar that I reported earlier is based on the Ether price at the time of the measurement. So uh, what we can basically observe is that the, that the accumulated profit that can be extracted by replay attack is really significant. Right? And the number of uh, replayable transactions um, remained more or less constant while still being rather volatile. So we can see here there's some coarse grained volatility on the number of, of replay transactions. But we do observe about 15,000 uh, transactions at most per month that can be replayed. Um, so that's certainly also a common issue in, um, in, in trying to secure DeFi protocols. So Sam, for instance, might have told you that um, uh, or, or ways on how he uh, tries to protect um, his transactions from being replayed by automated or generalized front-running bots. Uh, so this particular algorithm here that we show you is really a very simple one. I'm sure there are tons of much more sophisticated algorithms out there. But I just wanted to show you that even with this simple algorithm, if we do evaluate it on past blockchain data, we can find quite some significant value extraction. Very good. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, replay algorithm. So please be aware if you're issuing a transaction and this might extract some value that others could copycat, well, try to protect yourself, right? Um, there are a variety of, of different ideas on how to do that. You can create a more complicated smart contracts that can't be replaced as simple, as, as easily as through the algorithm I've shown you. Uh, you could uh, have private peering agreements with miners to let them help you to extract the value that you want without being replayed. But 
at the same time you will have to trust the miner not to replay you. So it's a tricky game, uh, but it's fun.